Hi, Nico. Hi, Yonela. Uh, first of all, I want uh, you to describe yourself in, in few words. So, I'm, um, I'm Italian. Uh, I was born in the south of Italy now 39 years ago. So, yeah, I'm 39. N next year, I will celebrate my 40th. I've been living outside of Italy for the past 15 years. I've studied abroad. Um, I've lived and worked abroad. So, I've, um, I've lived in Spain, in the UK, in France, in China. Now, I'm based in Germany. Um, I live in Cologne, uh, which is one, uh, the, the fourth biggest city in, uh, in Germany, and I work at uh, Nestlé. I would describe myself um, as a very uh, resilient person, um, in the sense that um, I, there is nothing that will ever mm, drive me down. You know, every time that there is a difficult situation, I always um, reinvent myself somehow, and I always try to find the positive um, uh, aspect to everything, so uh, I always I always strive, always, uh, also in uh, in difficult moments. How it's for you to work at one of the biggest brands? Nestlé um, is a great, great, great company. I have to say that um, I will be forever uh, grateful. They trusted my my talent. They 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 thought I could make it, and they offered me this very challenging position because I'm 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 responsible for the whole discounter channel. Um, and uh, and it's a very complicated channel, as you can imagine. What's your story life? I was born from a very um, humble uh, family, um, so we didn't have much. And also, um, I didn't come from a very um, ambition, you know, um, background. Um, I still remember my first day at uh, school. I was the only kid that couldn't. Uh, read or write and my I remember that the teacher called my parents he was very worried and he said this guy has no future and then um, what happened is that instead um, I I started working very hard you know working very hard to try to be the best at school to try to to win also scholarship because this was the only way I could study uh, because of course as I said the, the family was very humble um, and I managed to graduate very fast uh, at university with the best, with honors, so with the best score, with the best uh, note. Uh, and then um, after that, I, um, I started traveling the world. I learned uh, several languages, including Chinese, Mandarin and French, Spanish, English. Now I speak also German. I also discovered this very strong passion for arts. Um, I always sang. I did piano bar because so I could earn money from singing in pubs, singing in restaurants, singing at weddings. And then when I went finally to the university, I studied at the same time at university and also at the conservatory for music, um, opera singing. When I started the, um, this opera career, um, I think I was doing, I was very young and I was doing roles that for my voice were too, um, um, too heavy and therefore let's say that I, I damaged my vocal cords. So then uh, the doctor said that I should rest, uh, I should rest my vocal cords for a few years. And that's, um, that's why I didn't sing for eight years. So I started singing again only um, in 2014. And since then, I never stopped. You know, I've been singing different roles. Uh, uh, I've, been, I've been singing in, in the UK, so in London a lot, in Prague, um, here in Germany, in Italy. I have sung um, some of the, 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 the major roles for bar bass baritons because I'm a bass bariton. Uh, so Figaro, Leporello, how you can handle the both of them. You need to have lots of passion uh, for what you do. Uh, you need to be very well organized um, and you have also to be able to negotiate. Have you ever think to give up at one of them? I couldn't uh, because both of them give me uh, something uh, and they are very complementary to each other. Um, music uh, is my passion. Uh, I. Um, Without music, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't leave. It's like breathing, no? I, uh, when I sing, when I'm on stage, when I'm with other artists, I feel like I'm in my universe. Uh, 
at work uh, I feel like um, the owner of a project you know I feel like uh, I'm driving something uh, I I feel like um, I, I own a responsibility and um, and I'm also working you know to satisfy consumers need which is very very important you know I wouldn't I wouldn't give up any of the two two things because the two of them complement me and give me what I need in order to be happy in life. The biggest realization is really that I managed to go on. I managed to stand up every time I, I fell down uh, because I fell down several times. Um, and, uh, and that I never gave up. I, I've never given up um, on, on anything. Every time I had a dream, I have been, um, I, I was very focused to reach uh, the, the, the dream. Never, 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 never listen to what other people uh, say to you, what you can do, what you cannot do, never. Uh, always uh, follow your own instincts because your own instincts are really the one that will drive you to where you want to go. Always strive to be the best version of yourself, but at the end of the day, follow your instincts. So never let other people um, stop you from dreaming. I, I'm really happy that I had this opportunity uh, to, um, to talk to you. I've been to Romania uh, twice. I don't speak Romanian yet. I mean, I do speak some words, Cefaci, um, <laughs> uh, uh, Formosa, I know, uh, a few words, a few words I know. Um, uh, but, uh, but yeah, it could be maybe my, my, my next language in the future.